Hi guys, welcome back to the home and homestead. Today we will be doing part three of green bean harvest projects where we will be taking the green beans that we grew this year and taking some of the remaining beans that were on the vine and doing the seed saving method so that we can plant those beans for next year. So follow along and see how we can take green beans off of the plants we planted this year and use them again for planting next year. So the process of seed saving is more of a, a waiting process. So what you do is you harvest your green beans as you normally would and then there just comes a time where the plants are starting to slow down and you'll notice some of the, the green beans are starting to turn kind of dry on the plant. What you do is just wait and let the plant more or less die back and then on the plant any remaining green beans will become these really dry beans and inside once they're dry are the dried green beans that are actually the seeds for use next year. So what you want to do is let the green beans dry completely on the vine and it has a very dry sound to it and it sounds like a rattle really rattling around and when you press your your nail onto the green bean pod it doesn't create a dent it just more or less kind of cracks and breaks apart and you know they're ready. So then at that point in time you harvest them off of the plant and then I had them on three or four jelly roll pans like this and I laid them out in a cool dry area so they can completely dry out over a period of about two to three weeks. However long it takes for them to become this crunchy and dry. And then I just consolidated them onto one pan today for doing this process which is now we're going to remove the green beans or the seeds from their pods. So all you simply do is, is break them open and remove them. And if you're concerned that the green beans might still have a little moisture in them, you know, they're really dry and when you take them out, you can certainly lay out some paper towels on some jelly roll pans and then put the seeds or the green beans once you remove them from the pods on that and let them sit out in the cool dry place for another week or two. But I'm confident these are very dry and they'll be ready to go into storage until next year. So let's work on getting these dried green beans out of their pods so we can use them for seeds next year. An important thing to remember is that when you are going to plant a variety and then you're with the plan to do seed saving, you want to make sure that they are heritage or heirloom, open pollinated or a non-hybrid type of a plant. Uh, these Kentucky Wonder green beans are self-pollinating so you don't have to worry about cross-pollinating once you plant them again. So these are all things to consider, but you want to make sure you have non-hybrid heritage or heirloom type of plant for doing this. And green beans are an excellent choice for this. So let's work on getting these green beans out of their pods. Okay, so we have all of the green beans shelled from the dried out pods. So potentially each one of these could be a green bean plant. So that's pretty exciting. We have quite a lot here. 
This particular variety is the Kentucky Wonder. It's a pole bean, so meaning it climbs up on a trellis or some sort of support, and you can plant them rather close together, and they just kind of grow in between and throughout and around each other, and they just they'll climb up onto whatever support you have for them. I have really enjoyed this variety this year. The green beans are really large and plump and they're very sweet and if you watch the earlier videos in the green bean harvest projects I pickled and water bath canned some for dilly beans and I fresh packed and pressure canned some for just canned green beans and they're very delicious. So I'm looking forward to saving these seeds and having them for planting in the future. And there's quite a few here so I can certainly gift some of these to friends and family members and neighbors. You know, if there's someone that you know that enjoys gardening and you find a variety of a vegetable that you're able to seed save for that you really enjoyed, it's nice to be able to save some and then share them with someone you know that might enjoy them. So when I remove the green beans or the seeds as I'll call them from the pods, I kind of went through them and most of them have a nice glossy look to them and then some of them were a little wrinkly and dry this one's cracked those I will discard so now what we're going to do is store them so if you think about it this way seeds and plants need moisture warmth and light in order to grow so in order to store them you want the opposite so we want dry dark and cool so that's what we'll do. We'll put these into an airtight container, either a Ziploc bag, I'll put them in a mason jar, you can also put them in a Tupperware type container, and you'll keep them in a cool, dry, and dark area. A nice location could possibly be wherever you store your home canned goods and your cool storage. So now we have a number of Kentucky Wonder green bean seeds that we can use next year when planting. And if you plan ahead, you can do this year after year, and you will have a perpetual supply of your green bean and potentially not have to buy your green bean seeds again. If you haven't done the process of seed saving before, green beans are a great vegetable to start with. As you can see, it just takes some patience and time, uh, patience for the plant and pods to be ready to be dry and ready to be removed from the plant and then more patience to have them lay out and dry out for another two to three weeks or however long it takes based on your environment until they become very dry like I showed you earlier and it makes like a rattle type of sound. And then it's just a matter of removing the seeds from their shells and storing them in a cool, dry and dark area. Well, I hope you enjoyed our time together preparing these green beans for planting next year. And hopefully this inspired you to try the seed saving method for green beans yourself. Well, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. You can check out other content I have on gardening and food preservation methods, as well as organization and home decor. So stick around and see if there's something else you'd like to watch. Until then, see you next time. Take care.